ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರು ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರ್ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ 
Namaste, everyone, and welcome to our very special Guru Purnima program. This is Donna from Palai Center, 
My spiritual name is Rani, and we welcome you with love. So what is Guru Purnima? Guru Purnima is the full moon of the Guru. It is the most special full moon of the year, because during this time, all the great saints and siddhas and divine beings and gurus are close to the earth plane. They come to bless us, to answer prayers, to remove karma, and to create miracles in our lives. You know, we hear the word guru kicked around a lot these days, meaning someone who is an expert in their field and perhaps has written a lot of books. <laughs> we hear about health gurus and fitness gurus. But the truest of the guru is the one who is a fully enlightened being. And this being has the power to awaken us, to awaken the divine energy that lies dormant within us to remind us who we really are, to remove the ignorance, the darkness that we blunder around in thinking that we are flawed human beings, when in fact we are divine beings, spiritual beings, and the true guru can shine a spotlight on that, awakening us to that divinity and remind us of who we really are and to remove our bad karma, remove our suffering. So during Gur Purnima, we become very still in order to receive the blessings of these great beings. So today we will chant the Guru Mantra. And in this mantra, it says, Guru is Brahma, Guru is Vishnu, Guru is Shiva. Guru is the divine trinity. Brahma, the creator, Vishnu, the sustainer, and Shiva, the destroyer who breaks down in order to rebuild again. And in this prayer, we say the words, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, I bow to Shri Guru. So we will chant this mantra, and then we will watch a very special video from Dr. Pillai. Dr. Pillai gave this Guru Purnima message a couple of years ago, and in it, he will teach us the sounds for manifestation and be assured, because Dr. Pillai is a fully enlightened being, he is not bound by time or space. So even watching a replay of a talk that he gave a couple years ago still has immense power and can truly change you, change your life forever. So we will be watching this video of Dr. Pillai and meditating with him, learning these sacred sounds. Our program today will last roughly an hour and a half. And this video can be replayed through the night. For some of you, it may be daylight. It may be the day before Guru Purnima. Or it may be the day after the full moon. And that's fine. Dr. Pillai has said the Guru Purnima actually encompasses the day before the full moon and the day after. So we really are in that vortex of this supreme energy right now. So take advantage of that, even if it's daylight, it's fine. And you can play this through the night then, replay it over and over again. So get yourself in a situation where you won't be distracted. Above all, be still. Be open to blessings. You can even set an intention now for what you would like to receive this Guru Purnima, what you would like to receive what you would like to be free of. All of this can change by connecting with Sri Guru. Let's begin. Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deo Maheshwara, Guru Shakshat Param Brahma, Tasume Sri Gurave Namah, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deo Maheshwara 
गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवी नम गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात 
परम ब्रह्मा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा श्री गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु गुरु 
Blessings for everyone who is listening to this message. I have seen many Guru Purnimas come and go. But this is very, very special for me personally because I literally died yesterday, last night, and I am a new person today. All my previous orientations, understanding, everything passed away. And for the first time that I became intelligent, I became 
powerful because the identity that I have gained is a different identity. And today is a very important day and I understand the day in its full significance. This Purnima or full moon is called Vyasa Purnima. Vyasa is an incarnation of Vishnu. He came down to the earth plane as a guru in order to reveal the meaning of the Vedas. The Vedas is super science, unintelligible to almost everyone, including the Vedic Rishis. On this day, I recall my humble hmm, and also incomplete understanding of my own guru, formal guru. I have had many gurus. This is Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, who unfortunately was known by the group Beatles, Beatles Guru. People know him as Beatles Guru. That is how dumb the world is. And he used to say one thing that rings in my ears. Richo Akshare Parame Vyomin Yasmin Deva Adivishpe Nishetu Yastana Veda Kim Richa Karishesi. What that means is, in essence, nobody understands the Vedas. In every akshara, in every ladder, there is a Devata sitting. And if you do not open yourself, if you don't understand, see, experience the deity with every single phoneme, what is the fun in reciting the Vedas without understanding what you are doing? This is from the Rig Veda. Rig Veda is the oldest Veda. So what it's telling us is, even during the time that the Vedas were revealed to us, the Vedic Rishis themselves were ignorant. It was hidden. So if you know this Vedic knowledge totally, experientially, then you are God. Then you can say, Aham Brahmasmi, I am God. But even during the Vedas, it took place that nobody had that understanding of the full Veda, what is the use of the Vedas? Nobody has the guts to say, I know the Vedas. Including great rishis, the Sabda rishis. But Vyasa knew, because Vyasa was God, Vishnu, who came down, who is still living in the Himalayas. There is a Badri, there is a soup, uh, another Badri where human beings cannot go. So what we need is the true knowledge. And if you have the true knowledge, it is super science. And in their super science, everything will be possible, if you know the super science. Then you will not have this meat body. The problem is the meat body. It's a piece of meat. The brain is also a piece of meat and it will never ever understand. 
total intelligence. Why the gods are uh, in the light body. So when you go to, when Jesus went to pray God, or Moses prayed to God, it was light. It's a burning bush. It's not a big body. God is light. Ramalingam said the same thing. God is light. But if he wants, he cannot. He can assume a form so that you can see. And that form usually is the guru. The guru is sacrifices himself to get into the meat body and get all the diseases all the ignorance of the, in the mind. And then he is running around like anyone else and then dies like you die. So there is no difference. The guru dies also. That's why Ramalingam used to say if the guru dies, he's, he's, not, he's an ignorant guru. All the gurus were against him. But he had the guts because he was able to turn his body into light. Hmm? Turning the body into light is not unscientific. It is scientific. Energy is matter and matter is energy. They are convertible, exchangeable. Only thing is we do not know how to do it. We don't know the technology. Why? Because you live in duality. Duality, in the duality, the matter is different from energy, energy is different from matter. Although we talk about the wave-particle relationship, it's all theoretical physics. In the theoretical physics, yes, the wave becomes particle, and particle, they are, they are the same. But why can't you become a wave? It's possible. You have to go get into that level. That's why meditation is required. Not just 20 minutes, 20, not 20 years, not 200 years. Vishwamitra, the king who gave us and co-created with me the sound, meditated for thousands of years to just to get the waves that can give you prosperity. Has it been revealed totally? Not yet. I, over the 1998 to 2009, I have been installments, through installments, I have been receiving that now we have the goddess. The goddess was revealed only a few months ago under her form. That's how it is, because in the earth plane we are all bound by time and space. But at least we are very happy that the goddess is here. There is molecule, there is atom, there is particles, subatomic particles, there are bosons, fermions, leptons, neurons. These are all subatomic particles. They are extremely powerful. But what is more powerful is, what is more powerful is the form, the form of Ganesha, the form of Vishnu or the form of other deities. Why? Because the form doesn't belong to this domain of Maya. It's called, otherwise it's called Suddha Maya, which means pure Maya. Because it is not a meat body. And these forms will contact you. 
and then give you great understanding. So in essence, what I'm telling you is, uh, I'm going to give you a very, very simple teaching. If we want to acquire highest intelligence, and why do you want intelligence? Most people just keep your intelligence to yourself, give me the money, you know, which I understand. That is more practical. Intelligence, you can keep it yourself, you go to Harvard and teach, and then they won't pay you much, <laughs> but then you will describe, you will, de you will dedicate your life there. Hmm? An ordinary doctor will make a lot more money than a Harvard person because they are there only for their fulfillment. So you don't want intelligence, you just want give me money, that's, that's fine. And that is this stream Brazi. I gave you the group a meditation last night. And then I will reveal down the road a lot more. Now, what the most important teaching is about karma removal. Unless you remove your karma, the disease will not go away from your body. Number one. Unless you remove your karma, money will not come to you. Unless you remove your karma, will you? Unless you remove your karma, even you cannot reach God. So karma governs everything. Karma is your mindset, it is the soul set, it is the body set, everything, you, you are bound up, bound by karma. Many people come and ask me, this person is foolish and he is making millions and millions of dollars, but I have, you know, an MD, PhD, but I'm still, I'm not making enough money as this person is making, why? He yeah, doesn't, that person doesn't have money karma, that's the bottom line. Why some person is so sick and develop illnesses? That's because of health karma. The health karma is not good. No relationship, because the relationship is karma is not there. So what is karma? I'll give you a definition which will be acceptable to most people. Karma is your thought pattern, what your thoughts are. You have to evaluate your thought patterns. What, what is your orientation? Are you pretending? Are you honest? Are you willing to look at your own thought pattern? From morning till evening, you know how many thoughts we have per minute? 35 thoughts minimum. It could increase to 50. Do we have the ability to know these thoughts? We talk about enlightenment, I am enlightened. So many people will say that I am enlightened. How many thoughts do you have? I don't even know. You probably have more thoughts than other people have. Hmm. That's the truth. Right. <laughs> Somebody went to Raman Maharshi and said, you want us to meditate. 
But the moment I sit down to meditate, thoughts crowd me and I can't meditate. Raman Maharshi never answers questions. He never speaks. He, to this question, he gave an answer, yes. I have the same problem too. She said, oh my God, you meditated for 70 years, <laughs> 60 years, all your life. And you have thought problem? Yes. My problem is how to pull a thought into my mind. I have to make tremendous effort to pull a thought into my mind. That's why Carl Jung, who went to see him, three months he suffered in that ship to go to see him in the 1940s. Jung saw, Jung had a lot of questions to ask. He went and sat before Raman Maharshi. He had the diarrhea, but he forgot all about your diarrhea, his pain, he got clarity. He said, they asked him, do you have any questions to the Maharishi? No. All questions were answered. By looking at this man. So, he gave a testimony for him. He is the whitest spot in the white sky. Is the whitest spot in the white sky. There is no need to go and talk to him. Just sit in front of him. All your worries are gone. All your, you know, questions are answered. The day he died, I was just one year old at the time, a star appeared on the sky right in front of the ashram. It has been documented. He became the star. The stars are gurus who lived here. Agastya is now a star. They become the star. Now, what can we do? You know, most people are still struggling to make money or heal their bodies or find a relationship. So what are you going to do? First, to understand that karma is thought forms. These thought forms will come over and over again and they will be thinking those thoughts. And when you have the thought form like I am the President of the United States, you will become the President. If you are confused, you will remain confused. No matter what you do to change your thought forms, it will be very difficult. Again and again, every morning when you wake up, the same type of thoughts come. You are caught in this thought form, that is karma. A few years in the 90s, I took a few, two people from, the, from New York, two guys. They were in the group. They both wanted to leave their wives, you know. They said that their life was miserable. But then they were convinced that the wives were house, housewives and then they didn't have a job. There is no matter what they, uh, they uh, you know, they, they couldn't divorce them. So they told me about that. One is a high school sweetheart and I cannot leave her. 
But then she keeps smoking and then she gets into my Mercedes and then smokes inside. I couldn't control her, you know. It's all these kinds of complaints. Oh, I see. Do you really want to divorce them? Yes, of course. But the only problem is they are so dependent on us. So they stayed with me for two weeks and then they came back. It was a surprise. They found them, they had boyfriends. <laughs> So the, he was in India and then trying to do the karma, that was a karma removal program. One guy came to me and then I can't believe that. So I said, what do you want? I want her back. <laughs> That's what it is. So you can remove her karma. There is none that cannot be removed. They were gone forever. They, they both never got to send them back. They probably was waiting for him to go away for a long time. Okay. Uh, how do you remove? If you change your thought patterns, then you can change your karma. Can you do it? You cannot do it on your own. You need help, divine help. The divine has to interfere. The guru has to interfere. The guru comes in the form of the divine. That's why this day is very important day. This is the day of the Guru, Guru Purnima. All the gurus visit the earth plane to bail out people from their diseases, financial problems, relationship problems, all kinds of things. So any practice that you do on this day will be very, very powerful because the gurus are here. Their blessings are here. The blessing is very, very important. Through blessings you can get anything and everything. I'll tell you one thing. After that I will give you the technique and the meditation. There was this Mahabharata war. This is an epic of India, Mahabharata. And Krishna came here as a human being. And he was involved in the war. There were two groups of people fighting good guys versus bad guys. They were cousins, but still they were fighting for the kingdom. The good guys said that we will have a fair division of their kingdom and then you take care of this and we'll, the other group will take care of that. But the bad guy said, I want the lion's share. It's all mine, you, the bad guys. And Krishna was there. So the war was declared between these two groups. And Krishna said, since I am God, I should not, although I am in a human form, I should not get involved to one side. So I will be, I will not fight in the war. You fight and figure it out. 
But Krishna himself was uh, ruled a small part of the kingdom. He had his own kingdom, but he was a small king, not an emperor. But others had bigger, you know, regions they were ruling. But Krishna's was very small. But people who were enlightened, they knew that this is God playing the game as a human. At least the good guys knew. The bad guys knew also, but they are skeptical. Because the more money you have, the more successful you are, the more ego you will have. And that will make you to suspect everything <laughs> and skeptical. So the, but still, what happened? Before the war started, they both thought, hey, we have to go get the support of Krishna. Whoever, if Krishna is uh, on the side, that side will win. Now, The bad guy's leader is Duryodhana. He just said, this is the day we have to go and get this fellow's help. And he did not respect Krishna at all, but he, just in case he may be useful, so we, we want him on our side. He's a politician, full of ego. He went first early in the morning, he came, and then knocked at the door and then went inside. And Krishna was sleeping. And he was so proud, he did not give any respect to Krishna. He went and sat by Krishna's, uh, you know, head side, like this, like an emperor. He was an emperor, like this. Krishna knew that. The good guy's leader came, Arjuna, and he came and then touched Krishna's feet. And Krishna, he was pretending. He was not sleeping. He opened his eye and then he was, ha, ah, Krishna, Arjuna, come on. This fellow shouted, no, I came first. Okay, so, Arjuna said, yes, he came first. So whatever he, uh, he has the right to ask your favor first. Krishna said, okay. So he turned to his side, this guy was still sitting like this. Okay. Hey, what do you want? Because he said that you can ask anything you want. Then he said, what are the options, Krishna? Tell me what are the options. Krishna said, two options. My army is there. During the war, I can give my army. Or, I can give myself. and I will come without my army. What do you want? I want your army. <laughs> he went. He said. And then Arjuna said, Arjuna, you came late. Krishna was playing a game. Arjuna, you came late. I have given the army to this guy. Now I am alone, you know, I cannot fight also in the army, <laughs> in, the, in the war, that is the agreement. So my army will fight and I cannot fight, I can only be your driver, driving your chariot. Arjuna said, even if you had given me the choice to select yourself, versus the army, I would have selected you. 
way. If God is on your side, you will win. So you have to choose wisely. You have to choose God, not his army. You should hold on to the feet. You should hold on to the feet of the Guru, of God, that is the ultimate teaching. My own Guru, the Maharishi, never ever, although he became world famous, billions of dollars, universities everywhere, He never gave any importance to him. He would say, Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev means glory, victory to my Guru, Shankaracharya of Jyotirmati in the Himalayas. He would always sit on top of, you know, on the wall will be his Guru. Even if today, if you learn TM, Transcendental Meditation, the puja is not done to the Maharishi. It's done to the Guru. And the tradition of the Guru is Narayanam Padma Bhavam, the system. The Guru tradition starts from Vishnu down to the Shankaracharya tradition. And if you have the Guru with you, it is immensely difficult to get a good Guru, a Satguru. And if you have that Guru, you are the most fortunate person, not your billion dollar, Allah. no. That is the most important thing that I wanted to share with you that I have not been outspoken until today. The Guru is everything. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Shakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Guru is Brahma, Guru is Vishnu, Guru is Shiva. That is literal truth. Even if the Guru is a little, uh, you know, not much enlightened, till it's valuable. But if you get a Satguru, you are the most fortunate person on the earth plane. Now, to go back to the technique. Yeah. The first thing is to do, to get rid of your karma. So I'm going to give, I've taught so many karma removing techniques. The first one I taught was the Tirunila Khandam. This is where your karma is. The karma is, this is Adam's apple. The karma is the knowledge. That's the thought pattern. That came from the fruit uh, of knowledge. That's why it was stopped here. It is why here. You know, I can talk about it for another couple of hours of how you can disperse your thought here at this point and how to, how to split the thoughts through raising the Kundalini. I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to do a simple thing that is Tirini Lakantam. Tirini Lakantam is the sound which all of you who have been following me will know. I'm going to give not that one, something more. Not that it is uh, a less powerful sound, it's ultimate sound too. So I'm going to add another sound which we, some of the you practice today, this morning. Close your eyes.
First, I'm going to recite something from Jnana Samandar, which is the a god, Muruga Kartikeya, who came down to the earth plane and disappeared into light at the age of 16. But when he came here, he found that how hard it is to be in the body. And then tried to meditate and then he, thoughts were coming. He could not even focus his attention on God. So he talks about that. Marakkum yen manatine matri Marakkum yen manatine matri Yen aviye varpurutti Rappil vimmandan dirundu sevadi ke vilayadavannam parittamalagudi amumi adaindo om Sirappili divine vandame dindapera tirinila kandam I am leading a life in which there is no respect for me, no honorable life. And this mediocre, respectless life is due to my karma. And I am trying to think about you I keep forgetting you, my God. No matter what, I think about garbage all the time. But to think about you even for five minutes in a row is impossible. Why? I am thinking about my own strategies. To succeed. But I don't want to spend even five minutes to chant your name. Why? Then he acknowledges, then once I complained, the God, God came and said, Hereafter you will not forget my name. That's the bone. You, are, you will always think. But God said, I have to squeeze your soul. Yen aviye varpurutti. Because the soul doesn't want to think about God. It wants to think about music, drama, other things. Squeeze. And then he gave the sound. Paritta malaghuriyamu mayadindom sirappili divine Pandham me dhindapera Tirinilakandam Now the karma cannot come. The karma stands uh, uh, maybe three feet away from me. Hey, don't come near me. I am being protected by a god. All these mediocre things, manipulations, conspiracies, Lies, all these are karmic. They cannot, they should stay three feet away from me. And the sound that can do that is Tirunila Kantam. Now focus your attention on the throat. Tirunila Kantam. Tirinila Kandam. Now say that with me. Tirinila Kandam. Tirinila Kandam. Tirinila Kandam. Tirinila Kandam. Visualize a blue light in your throat and keep on chanting. Tirinila Kandam. 
திருநீலகண்டம் 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 மூவி அட் பாடி லைக் திஸ் திருநீலகண்டம் 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 and then to make a prayer i do not want this mediocre hypocritical life bless me with a glorious life of prosperity and enlightenment then i'm going to give you another sound which you not only do it on your throat you do it on your shoulders i'll teach you how to do that the sound is hara 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 you can do it on the hara in one shoulder the other shoulder is also hara hara now, now listen listen and then follow no hara 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 just go deep into your shoulders and the shoulder bone you carry your karma there join me hara 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 sideways when you used to the hara left move the head left and then move to the right hara 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 Uh-huh. 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 U
can stop it. Now, this is hara, 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 hara. That will remove your karma. Now, I'm going to give you a sound that I gave a long time back in the 90s. I'm, I don't have time to give. It is a, an improved version in Tamil. So, hara, hara is Sanskrit, which has been turned into a manifestation technique. In order to manifest, I gave you this technique in the morning also. You think about a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars. And they are unable to manifest. Why? Your ideation, my real thought, is not strong. It is full of doubt. It's, uh, it can't believe. It doesn't believe. It believes that somebody else can make it, but I cannot. So the ideation or the thought process that revolves around the idea, idea and the ideation. That idea is weak. When it becomes a powerful idea, powerful ideation, then it will manifest into three-dimensional reality. One is energy, idea, manifestation is matter, energy and matter. There are two sounds that can do that. The ideation, that two sounds are ma energy and matter. The first sound is, the energy sound is ara. A R A Ara. If you go on saying Ara 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 Hmm? In the even in the Quran, the Lord God's name is Ar Ar Rahman. Ar A R. Ara 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 Ara. Come on, tell me. Ara 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 Ara. ara. Now, that is to make your ideas, your radiation powerful, strong. Then it has to manifest in three-dimensional form, and that sound is kara, K-A-R-A. -A. Kara, 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 say the start saying, kara, 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 kara. <laughs>
now right now now you have to, yeah you will say now ara kara ara kara ara kara ara kara slowly i am very thankful to the divine for enabling me to come here in front of you and all the people who are listening I am just only a tool in the hand of the Almighty. There is a Siddha whom I am protecting him, supporting him. He just told me he has a guru in the another plane. He said in an interview with me, "When my guru is there, I am a hero. When my guru is not there, I am a zero." Look at his humility. the humility is everything the guru will never be able to avail himself will be available to a egocentric person at all that is a literal truth that's a literal truth but what happens you know people get into their ego and lose the guru the guru the even in buddhism there is a story about this guru was dying so he wanted to select the zen master 
So he selected the next guru. The next guru was a chef. The chef never got to get into the guru's room. So he found him to be the right person to succeed him. He called for the chef. And then the chef said, I, can I, 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 I'm not, I'm not even worthy enough to get into your room. No, oh, come on. He blessed him, touched him, blessed him. You are going to be the next guru. And I have made all arrangement to transfer the power, the documents ready. You will be the next guru. However, you cannot be here. Abandon this ashram. Take all the jewels and everything. I have made every arrangement for you. Go to another place far away and start teaching and keep the tradition. Once the people who are around me come to, who think that they are going to become the next guru, come to know about it, they will kill me before I die. <laughs> and kill you also. <laughs> That's the truth. So just leave tonight. And I have with, arranged everything with other people. They will invite you and then they will set up everything you can do with my work from there. When I told this story in early 2000, I had a place in Connecticut, Greenwich, Connecticut. People started volunteering to cook. <laughs> so that they could become the next guru. This is human <laughs> politics, conspiracy. <laughs> They're still cooking. <laughs> hmm? They're clever. <laughs> they started coming early so that they can go to the uh, kitchen and cook. They were pushing other people, no, you are not allowed to cook, I have to cook. Hmm? You cannot cheat God, you can cheat yourself. If you think you are cheating God, you are cheating yourself. Hmm? So I have shared with you, not only with you and the people who are listening, how to change your thoughts. Hara, hara, hara. There are many variations of it, but it's a good starting point to do that. Arakara, Tirunila Prandum, all these three things will help you. So, it will help anyone who practices it for an extended period of, this is how long can I, but immediately people ask me, how long do I have to do this? Then I used to tell them, I know you won't do it tomorrow. 
This is the first and last time you are doing it. <laughs> That's the case with most people. Hmm? At least somebody yesterday came to me. Would you please bless me that I could use all these meditations? That's, I said, you have my blessings. I told him. You need blessings to do these too. If you don't have blessings, you will be in, in your political mind. Hmm? So keep on doing these three techniques. And be grateful to the divine. Be grateful. Being grateful is everything. Gratitude. Guru Brahma. Guru Vishnu. Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Shakshat Param Brahma Rasume Sri Gurave Namaha God bless. Slowly and gently, you can begin to come back to yourself now. You can take a deep breath. Become aware of your body again by putting a little movement back into it. You can maybe rub your hands together. Become aware of your surroundings again. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. We thank you for joining us in this very special program today. You can continue to repeat the mantras that Dr. Pillai has given and immerse yourself in the meditation again and again. Particularly over the next few days, while the energy is very strong. Please feel free to post in chat any experiences that you had today that you might like to share with everyone. So we'll conclude our program now. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you soon. Namaste.